Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the Sparkline visual. Now, the Sparkline is a really nice visual. It's great at showing trends and data that you might have. You can see in the example on the right hand side, we're looking at Microsoft Stock Daily. So it's basically showing maybe hour by hour how the Microsoft Stock is done. And it gives you a nice visual of how that may look. Now, the Sparkline is only going to allow you to have a single measure on top of the graph. So you can't have multiple measures that you're comparing with this particular visual. That's fairly com common for Sparkline visuals and other tools as well. Now, there are some interesting things you can do with the Sparkline. For example, if you wanted to, you can actually animate it across time. So if you did have some kind of time element to it, you can actually apply an animation to it. So it'll show you hour by hour or day by day how things have changed on that graph that we're looking at on the screen. Now, I keep saying things like you need to have it by time, by day. It's not mandatory that you do that, but it makes most sense when you're looking at a Sparkline that you're doing some comparison against time. That's most common when you look at visuals like Sparklines. Now you can see who developed this visual there on the bottom. Let's go ahead and now take a look at where you can go download it, how you can import it, and then how to use it next. All right, so our first step is to go ahead and go download the Sparkline. Now you see there is a Sparkline here also developed by the company called OKViz. Okay we'll take a look at their Sparkline in a later demonstration. In this one, though, we're going to scroll down and we're going to find the Sparkline that you'll find right here. It's one that was developed a little earlier. And you'll select that Sparkline and then choose to either download the visual, which is really what I need you to do initially. You can also, however, download the samples that Microsoft has provided or that the company provided for you to be able to play around with and test out the custom visual Sparkline. So first things first, though, go ahead and click Download Visual. And once you have downloaded that, store that somewhere easy for you to be able to find at a later point. And then we're going to take that now over to the Power BI desktop. In the Power BI desktop, we're going to be using an example where we're going to look at some claims data, some insurance claims data. And so in this example, we're going to go to a insurance claim spreadsheet that I have and use that as a data source to be able to look at the Sparkline visual and play around with it and see what you can do with it. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and get that data I just mentioned. You'll find the insurance claims data by going up to the Get Data section. And we're going to be connecting to an Excel source, so I'll select Excel. And you'll be able to find this data source that I'm using somewhere below. If you're looking at this in a blog or via the video, you'll find these, this custom visual available to you, or this data available to you somewhere below. And we're going to be looking at the insurance claims data here. And I'll select insurance claims and hit open. All right, so once you select the insurance claims data, you'll be launched into the navigator pane. You're simply going to select the spreadsheet called yearly claims, which has a list of claims by year and then click load to go ahead and bring this into our data model. You'll see once you load that into your data model that in a few moments underneath the fields list, you'll see both the year and the claims values available here for you to be able to use. Now, before we start to drag these into the design surface, we need to go ahead and bring in the Sparkline visual. Now to do that, you'll go over to where you see the ellipses here where you can now import a custom visual and we'll select import a custom visual here. And then we'll go ahead and yes, we do trust this, this custom visual that we're importing. And then go find wherever you downloaded that custom visual. Now, I've downloaded mine ahead of time. If you've just now downloaded it, you'll want to go find the Sparkline custom visual and then hit open. All right, so with that now imported, you should see it appear in your, custom, in your visuals pane. And you'll go ahead and select that Sparkline, put it on the design surface. And I'm even going to go ahead and increase it, make it take up pretty much the entirety of the screen for this one demonstration. And then we'll start to apply our different fields to it. Now on the fields list, you can see we have both the year field and the claims field. That's the same data that we saw in the preview window in the navigator pane a few moments ago. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by checking off the year. Now you'll notice when you check off year, if you simply check it off, this is being brought through as an implicit measure. That's why you see the little sigma symbol next to it. It's assuming that we wanna aggregate years up. It's assuming that we wanna sum years, which is clearly not something we wanna do. So what you can do is you can either change the way this is setting, the settings are for this in the data model, and you can do that by selecting the year field, just like I have here, and then going up to the modeling ribbon, and you can tell it that you do not want to summarize it here, where you see default summarization. You could tell it do not summarize. That's one option. You could also just simply drag it from the value section here and click and drag it up to the category section. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to drag year up to category. Again, the other option is you can simply change it and tell it not to summarize it. That works as well. This is a temporary fix the way I'm showing it this way. All right, so I've taken year, I placed it into the category. That means that it's gonna show up horizontally here once I actually get a measure in. And then I'll select the claims, that's the measure that's right above year, and bring that into the field well, and you'll be able to see that show up on our visualization pane. Now you do see there's a little tool tip here that shows up anytime you're really anywhere on the graph. You do have some ways of applying formatting and things like that. That's all adjustments inside the data model itself. 
All right, now the first thing that we want to do, though, is talk about what we're seeing here. Now, again, a spark line is showing us data across time. And so we're seeing across years the amount of claims that we're able to see here. So we're seeing claims by year. Now, you do have some capabilities to actually adjust the way this chart looks. If you go underneath the format paintbrush here, so if I go into the format section here, you'll see there's not a ton that you can play around with. In fact, most of these are around in every single one of the visuals. But you do find underneath the general section here, if you expand general, there are a few settings that you can turn on and tweak to be able to adjust it. And some of these are specific to the spark line, while some of the other ones are actually available in every visual that you select. The first two are ones that are specific to the spark line. One of them is the color. Obviously here I could change the color. If I didn't want it to be this blue, I could change it to something like a green or a red, let's say, and it does change that visual right away on the design surface. You could also change the color. So if you didn't want it to be set to, I'm sorry, not the color, but you can also change the size. So if you wanted to increase the size of that spark line, you can bump that up to something like five and make it a little bit bolder and a little bit easier to see. Now the other options here, the X position, the Y position, the width and the height, that's all about where it's positioned on the design surface and then how much space it takes up in the design surface. That appears in every one of the custom visuals and every one of the visuals for that matter that you have inside Power BI. So that's really all you can do underneath general. Now if you go a little bit lower, you'll see there's an animation section here. The animation section is actually turned off by default, but check out what happens when you turn on animation. When you turn on animation and you look inside the chart, you'll actually notice that it does animate your visual across time and it'll continue to do it over and over based on the settings that are on by default. Now, if you expand the animation section here, you'll see there are some settings that you can turn on or tweak to be able to adjust the animation that we're seeing. Right now, for example, the duration, we're seeing that the duration is set to 1000. You can adjust that to something like 2000 and that'll actually slow down the visualization animation quite a bit. So it'll actually go a little bit slower, a little bit smoother in the way that it moves through there now, the way that we've adjusted it. You can also change the delay. The delay is how much time it has between each run of the animation. So right here it stops, it's gonna start back again. How much delay is there between the animation? You can adjust that a bit here. I can increase to something like 7,000 and you'll notice it stays with where it is right here until about a few more moments and then it'll actually go through that animation again. Okay, so you do have some adjustments and some settings that you can do there as far as the animation to be able to adjust how it looks. Outside of that, everything is kind of standard settings that you have for every visual, including things like the title, which you might want to adjust. You might want to center the title and you might want to increase the size of the title up here. You could obviously adjust things like the font color if you want to make it a little bit more bold black. You have some ability to do that. If you want to match the red we have earlier, you can do that. Probably makes sense to be black in this case. All right, then you can go back a little further, further down. If you want to change things like the background color, you can turn on a background color. Maybe, maybe when you want to make it something like yellow and increase the transparency, you have the ability to adjust things like that. All this stuff you have available in every, in every visual, really, inside of Power BI. Last couple here, lock aspect ratio. That's really dependent on if I readjust the size, is it going to keep the proportions of what I'm seeing here? And then you have the border where you can add a border around it. That's a simple add-in. That's sometimes a nice touch depending on what you're doing. So that's really it for this custom visual. This is the Sparkline. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and look forward to showing you our next custom visual.